I heard something in here earlier. I think somebody left an egg in here for the workout today. Can you help me find it? Yes. Where might it be? I'm going to look up here. Hmm. You found it! Oh, wow! Let's see, do you think there's something inside here? Oh, oh it's a note. What does it say? <laughs> oh, we get to do low crescent and half splits today. Woo! All right. I can't believe that you found it. Yay, high fives. Thanks for finding that for me. Thanks for helping. All right, so welcome to day three. Today is about stretch and mobility, and as you saw from our egg, we get to do low crescent and half split. I do these almost every workout because they feel amazing. So normally I would say do something to kind of warm your body up a little bit, walk in place, march, jog, do a workout if that's something that you're gonna do today, and then you want to do your stretching and your mobility work. So you never really want to stretch cold muscles. But you have a couple options. If you need it for your knee, you can use, my camera will focus, you can use a, a cushion, a mat, something like that to help with the knee a little bit. I do have this thick mat, so it's usually fine for me. You can also have a chair nearby that you can have your hands on to help out. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna come down to the floor. You can come all the way down. You want to help? You want to stretch with me? Okay, so you can come all the way down on the floor and be here um, with a chair in front of you, the couch in front of you, a coffee table in front of you, just to give you something to support. We're going to take one leg forward. So right now you can see I'm in a 90-90. My back, here's the back just a little bit. My back leg is right down under the hip. My front knee is here. I want to walk this foot out a little bit because I'm gonna shift my weight forward. The further forward you go, the more you're getting that stretch through the hip flexor and the front of the thigh, and that's what we're working on. Your back toes could be tucked, they can be released, whichever feels better for you. So your hands could be on your chair. Your chair could be right here, it could be over to one side, it could be in front of you. You could hold the wall like he is back here behind me. This right here, you could stay here and do nothing else. You could advance it a little bit, Take your arms up, still pushing your hips forward. So maybe there's a slight arch in the upper back, maybe just a little bit, but not too much. You're still pulling that belly button in. Or what I like to do, hands down inside the foot. And again, this is gonna be a little bit more advanced than if you were to have your hands on a chair and you're still pushing the hips forward. And maybe this outside leg, I'm gonna actually turn just a little bit so you can see what my leg is doing. Maybe this outside leg, you kind of release it a little bit, let it fall out a little, and then you can keep pushing forward and you'll feel a really nice opening through the hips. I yeah. see, no, no hands, nice balancing. So this is our low crescent. One foot forward, one leg back, pushing the hips forward, feeling that lengthening and stretching through the um, hip flexor and that opening through the hips. Again, this leg could fall out because my hands are supporting. So this leg's not supporting me right now, my hands are doing it. If you're super bendy and flexible, which I'm not at the moment because I am not super warm, you could come all the way down having the forearms on the floor. At the end of a workout, I can do that and it feels good right now, not warm enough. So that's move one, our low crescent. You pick which one you like, where you want your hands, and just hold. And again, you can kind of move around. I like to move a little bit. Feel it out, make sure it feels good. Half splits, all we're gonna do is shift our hips back, straightening our front leg. So my front leg is straight, not locked out. I have a nice soft bend in the knee, and I shift my hips back. Technically, I could lift up and be right here. This might be a stretch for you, right here, feeling the back of the leg, the hamstring, maybe into the calf muscle. If it doesn't feel like much, bring the hands down. The lower the hands in the upper body go, the deeper the stretch is gonna feel. If you need to, you could sit all the way back onto the heel, so hips down to the heel, and feel the stretch through the back of the leg here, if that's more comfortable. I like to stay up a little bit higher. My hips are slightly back behind the knee, but I'm leaning into it. Now again, like she just did balance-wise, I could take my hands up and hold them back here, and just 
work the balance. Feel that stretch through the front of my leg. There you go. Feel a good balance there. And again, and then, you know, eventually you work into a full split. I can't do full splits, I'm not gonna lie. So here's our half split. Here is our low crescent. Now, if, like me, you like to flow and move through things, you have the option to be here in your low crescent and then shift back into your, shift back into your half splits. I sometimes like to go full range of motion, bringing my arms up, and then I let my hands shift back and move through. Now this, moving back and forth through the moves, I'm gonna switch legs here, they can give you a little, you know, help kind of warm the body up a little bit. So you're not miss, necessarily going and holding so deeply, you're shifting back and forth. And again, you could do that right here with the hands on the hips, hands on a chair or table, just shifting back and forth, letting the muscles warm up, start to feel into it at each time. You may be pressing a little deeper and then eventually you come down here. Again, this leg can fall out. I could bring my hands all the way down. One side's always a little bendier than the other. I can sit here and just hold. I can shift it back here and hold. This hamstring is tight. And then when you're done, you could just take a little child's pose and rest. Or you could come around, lie down in Shavasana, take a nice 10 minute Shavasana. At the end of any workout or stretch session would be very good. Nice little child's pose there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to ask any questions below. Comment, post a picture, something to let us know that you have done your stretching for the day. And again, this, these two are very good stretches to do at the end of any workout, a running workout especially, because it helps to open through the hips, it stretches the front of the legs, it stretches the back of the legs. Again, you get into the, the calves a little bit as well. And there's lots of variations that you can do. Yeah, they don't need to see the cap. Lots of variations you can do to help make it a little easier, make it a little harder. Um, and maybe next time I'll show you something a little extra with that. So enjoy your workout for today, and I will see you next time. Bye.